The Waldinger Corporation, celebrating 100 years of excellence. I uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, you know, my name's attached to the business. I think the reputation is, is better than it was then. Uh, I think the company is, is stronger than it was then. Uh, I think it's a reflection of the, the company's goal, which was to become stronger, more profitable, more stable, and the issue was reputation. And that would make my father extremely happy because his reputation was his most valued asset. From its humble beginnings in 1906 as Capital City Tin Shop, the Waldinger Corporation has built a reputation on innovation and the excellence of its processes. But even more importantly, on its people. Throughout the decades, the company has evolved and prospered despite economic downturn, wars of nation, and nature to become the industry leader it is today. And today, the Waldinger Way means strength, stability, and providing value in every aspect of the job. The Waldinger Way means an excellent workplace with substantial opportunity for personal and professional growth. The Waldinger Way means creative problem solving, true entrepreneurial spirit, adaptability to change, and ultimate respect for the individual, both employee and customer. The Waldinger Way is alive in its people, and it's stronger than ever. Soon after Austrian immigrant Harry Waldinger saved enough money from his tiny capital city tin shop business to bring his family from Austria to America, the trade became a family affair. During the troubled depression era of the early 30s, sons Mose and Joe Waldinger, who had worked with their father since their youth, began leaving the company as it was forced to change with the economic times. The brothers had a well-earned reputation for hard work and brain power. Throughout the company's history, we've had to adapt to rapidly changing environments. As World War II approached, uh, materials were being rationed, there were priorities, and the company had to adapt again by pursuing military-based projects. And that was the beginning of the company. They began to bid war work, and they got it, lots of it. But uh, they were doing camp jobs. And, carry, and it was a hundred and some degrees, <laughs> and I was carrying lumber on my back, you know, and that was Waldinger's, and I never left them. The company pioneered detailing and centralized fabrication during these times, and what they learned from military base work in World War II led to yet another new initiative, a transition into the air conditioning business. Air conditioning, uh, was really just beginning to come in. And we had the, the equitable building. I don't really know how I invented some of the things that I did. I didn't have anybody teach me. I was just my ideas of how to do it. Well, as soon as we became an air conditioning contractor and, and I knew what I was doing, pricing and performing that class of work, we had to go find more that a potential source of work for us would be Detroit, Michigan, that it was alive, full of all kinds of work. Another vendor told me about work uh, in the Texas area and uh, that I should look into that. We never worked at such a distance before. We got quite a name for ourselves because we were the ventilating contractor in the Superdome and the Astrodome and one of the major buildings in the Smithsonian Institution. We did one of the Embarcadero Square buildings in San Francisco. Uh, we ended up doing, doing work virtually all over the country. At one point, Waldinger showed the skyline of Dallas, and every building over 35 story, we had done the sheet metal on, and they called it Waldinger City. The piping business was next for the Waldingers, proudly starting with Des Moines Meredith Junior High in 1961. Job number 100. The company had grown from a little tin shop into a complete mechanical contractor. Soon after, the company was awarded its first nuclear power plant at Fort Calhoun, Nebraska. These plants quickly became a significant part of the company's business. Then came Three Mile Island. Nuclear work would be no more. The Waldinger Corporation returned business priorities to focusing on local markets, developing long-term relationships, and enhancing customer service. Next, 
the company leveraged that local customer focus to expand its service division into new territories. And I believe also many of us were tired of the one night stands, this town, that town. We wanted to create a business that was based on long term relationships in a local environment. The present management team has continued to focus on building local relationships and growing through continuously adding new products, divisions, and expanded services. We've acquired in the neighborhood of 30 plus companies since 1996. Today, the Waldinger Way lives on through its people as it stretches throughout the Midwest and Southeast United States. Well, I like to say we can do anything for anybody, anytime. Uh, we do work from a six hour project to a six million hour project. You go up and down the halls and there's, a, there's hundreds of years of experience there. I think it's because of the people there. They just, they trust, what, we're gonna do what we say. I've had uh, great experiences, lots of opportunity to do a lot of different things. It was a good job. You'd be there 37 years and two months. One of the benefits we have, even as a large company, is that we function as a collection of very small companies. I've always been encouraged to try new things and, you know, take new positions, new responsibilities. I miss it. I, I'd go back to work today if I could. Mose was proud, even though he wasn't an owner anymore. was very proud of the job that, that uh, everybody was doing there. And so was I, and so am I. Uh, I'm very proud of it, and uh, hopefully it'll go on for a long, long time. The past hundred years have been phenomenal. The next hundred years are gonna be just wide open.